Mr. Pouncer, he keeps pouncing in the grass. No, don't eat it. I'm just scared you keep pouncing in it. Not eating it, you knobber. Bring your ball. Come on. So Bruce is off to the vets tomorrow morning to have the sack taken off his leg. And I might get them, or was it them last time? I'll get them to have another feel of his elbow. I'm sure his right elbow is more, just a little bit swollen. And he's definitely not happy with it. Go and find something to kill Bruce. Because he can't have any breakfast either. Oh, he's going to hate me in the morning. While I sip my coffee, you can't have your biscuits and you can't have a splash of milk. You will be well pissed off. So after he's had his tag off, the uh, next thing to do with his big swollen bum is, I talked to the vet, they were still a bit lost as for what it is, without going into all the babbling and details and options and what we talked about, we are going to ultrasound him, if that shows an area of what looks like fluid, they'll stick a needle in and drain him. And if that can be done without anaesthetic, that would be just included in the consultation fee. So it's £60 for the ultrasound and £30 for a consultation anyway. So it will be £90 and they might stick a needle in him to drain him. But the ultrasound might tell the vet not to do that at all because they can't see anything specific, as in it's homogeneously swollen, the muscle rather than something pushing the muscle out, you know. So, still a few options to go at. She said if it's a muscle swelling thing, it could be something that she's never seen or dealt with. It could be an overactive nerve, therefore an overactive muscle. Uh, what causes that, goodness knows. I had a look on the internet, everyone's a vet, and main things I could see about swollen muscles was an immune thing, so who knows. A frosty morning, it's like minus one, quick walk before taking him to get his sack chops off. Thankfully, uh, he's done his business. We went on the moor across that side. But he hasn't been doing it well quite late recently, like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. So I was thinking, oh boy, you might not go. What with not having any breakfast and me just rushing round and coming out. I thought he might end up leaving the vet a little parcel. <laughs> but you went, didn't you? You've emptied yourself. He's got a bandage on his front paw just because he's got one of them little lumps and it's been bleeding and he's been licking it. So I put some CBD on a plaster and then just bandaged it. I haven't got the whole sticky pad of the plaster on it. Chop that off. Bruce is still totally groggy. You're still half asleep, aren't you, sunshine? Aww. I'm going to get you some chicken for your tea tonight. Yeah, the vet said something nice and light, like chicken or something. So I'll get you some chicken. From the little. Yeah. So he's had his lump off. Some other side. Lump off his bum and lump off the inside of his leg. Two for the price of one, eh, Bruce? Oh, look at him, Mr. Groggy. <laughs> so that's when he's out off his bum. He's well groggy still. 
just seeing if he needs a pee or a poop. When I've just been uh, putting his harness on, there was a tiny little bit of poop on the towel on the seat. And then I wiped his bum and a little bit came out. <laughs> I won't go into detail. Oh, he wants to get feisty. <laughs> Brucey, proper groggy. We're not going anywhere, really. We'll go another 20 yards. Right then. Other, other thing is right elbow they said it's, it's probably arthritis setting in she could feel the swelling but couldn't feel any grating or any loss of movement as such so probably early arthritis in his elbow there you go bruce update bye well, he's had 250 grams of chicken and then a little fat stick wasn't a fat stick to give you that to wear Bruce look at that big silly thing I'm not even gonna bother trying he hates them but I took it to just um, humor them should we put your collar on shall we put your lovely plastic collar on no we won't bother with that will we looking for moles looking for moles I've just steered you around that pool, that's all. Must have gone. Bring your ball. Bring your ball. Oop, car. Must have gone. Bring your ball. Bring your ball. Ooh, car.